News behind the foods listeners. Have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you ask literally everyone you know for their reco, but they don't know absolutely anything? You know a doctor who actually gets you, listens to you, and makes you feel super comfortable. And finally, after weeks of searching, you find the one, my friends. Wipe your tears, put away the ice cream, and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who is right for you. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient review doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones that take your insurance and are located near you and treat almost any condition you're searching for. Go to ZocDoc.com slash foods and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash foods, ZocDoc.com. The dudes behind the foods. Yo, it's the dudes behind the foods. The dudes behind the foods. Okay, let's get it. Do, Five, do, 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 dudes behind the foods, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's the dudes, motherfucker. Behind the foods, cunt, pussy, do, bitch. Do, 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 dudes, yes, sir. Behind the foods, dudes. nibbles. Yes, the dudes behind the foods, <laughs> gaping asshole. What's up, y'all? Welcome we back. We are demonetized <laughs> immediately. Oh my god, you might be right. Actually, ah yeah. oh, man, what's up, dude? Look at you, dude. Q is cute as ever. I visited not too long ago, and that baby is my favorite. Sorry, Veda, out the way. Look, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but <laughs> this guy. <laughs> but that fool is adorable now. There's, you know, he's. He smiles so much. He's a very smiley. He has just a twinkle in his eye. It's fucking adorable. You know, um,. You know, we had a very tumultuous first four months. He took your life away. Yeah, yeah, he took my life away, and he just wasn't giving me anything back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Except for poops and cries. And now you see him, you smile, he just lights up. I know! He's so cute. He's such a cute baby. Ginormous head. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Chia's vagina is forever different. Yeah, yeah, you know... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she, no. doesn't, she, doesn't, she doesn't feel anything at all anymore You know, well, that's my fault <laughs> That's just because I'm just a tiny No, I'm just Because <laughs> I'd be fisting her like this Wow <laughs> Yeah, speaking of gaping assholes No, I'm just kidding um, Yeah, man, uh, it's, it's, it's fun It's a fun time The babies are getting big uh, I actually just went to go tour a potential preschool for Ooh. Veda And it's actually... You know what? Not gonna lie, bro. I got a little emotional. Um, I didn't let, you know, Chia see initially because, you know, I ain't no bitch. But when we were in her little play play school classroom and the teacher was kind of walking us through like, oh, here's their little like cubby holes where they put their backpacks and like the kids had like faces, like pictures of their faces and it was like little art shit that they do. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, this is it, man. This yeah. is crazy. My little girl's about to be here all day. Eight, eight to three. This is crazy, man. Hey, eight to three is jack off time, though, baby. Hey, man, look, there jack off time is all the time. <laughs> jack off time is, oh, she is going to the bathroom to to take a shower. It's jack off time. <laughs> well, dude, she is just gonna fake you out, dude. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna shower, babe. But she goes, <laughs> she caught you like this with your dick in your head. Are you serious? <laughs> I tell you about the time she caught me. Oh, you talking about? Wait, is it the one uh, in the room when her parents were there? No. Oh, okay, my bad. Oh wait, yes, yes, <laughs> okay. yes, yes. Where like I didn't hear her coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's the if Mariel saw me jack off, I think she would just be disgusted of me. It's like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> well, that's the thing about it. It was, it was like you know. I think even though it was a very awkward situation, and I've told the full story on No Chaser, uh, but um. You know, when Chia walked into the room, she understands that, like, you know, her parents were there. It's like, you know, we're not doing stuff. Your, your boy has needs, right? Mm-hmm. And it was like, and normally she stomps around like a dinosaur, dog. <laughs> Usually it's like I can see the fucking glass of water T-Rex footsteps quivering when she walks around the house. Yeah, <laughs> dog. This time, bro, somehow she creeped up like a little kitty with some kitten mittens on, you know? <laughs> with her kitty cat paws, creeped up on me. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of the shit. Like, my dick is in my hand, right? And then she, she's, I, I feel the door creak open. And I just like, the first thing I do is like, 
slowly close the tab. <laughs> I just see the mouse move. Dog, and that's the thing, my screen is so big on my desktop because I'm in my office. So it wasn't like a laptop, like, it was like a... Tim actually edits uh, with a projector. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog. She stand up like this. No! <laughs> there was nothing I could do. She saw the shit, looked at me, we made eye contact. I was like, I turned around in my little wheelie chair. I was like, sup? <laughs> <laughs> and then she just didn't say shit. She just walked out. Closed the door. And it happened to be, you know, I, I, I'm i in different moods when I jerk off. You know, like, I, whatever I happen to be in the mood for that night. That night was a BBW night. It was it was big girls on my screen, right? And I was like, next day I was like, what did you see last night? You know, just started to see what she was going to say. She was like, she saw some big girls on the screen. <laughs> you know, the other, it was um, this summer. Mariel thought that I was jacking off next to her while she was sleeping. Yeah. Because we had this replacement bed at the time and it has no absorption. Mm -hmm. And she just felt like the bed rumble. And she gets up like fiercely like this. She goes, are you jacking off? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that. It's because I've been gardening. So I had hella mosquito bites. Oh, so I was you're just scratching? scratching my fucking leg. <laughs> and she's like, lifts the blanket. And I'm just... <laughs> scratching my fucking legs to an oblivion. I'm like, I'm so itchy. She goes, I thought you were jacking off. The would you, bed would, keep moving. Would she have issue with that? I think she'd just be weirded out that I'm doing it right next to ah, her. Ah, yes, yes. Like, yes, go yes, do yes. it in the shower or something. Right, or fucking, right. But instead, or, like, I'm just watching her face. <laughs> I'm not even watching porn. I'm watching her face. <laughs> Last time you were here, <laughs> you watching her face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Last time you were at the house, uh, remember Chia told you I was uh, jerking off in... Uh, baby <laughs> Dude, this is literally the fucking funniest thing ever, dude. It's just the, the idea of this man finding, like, he knows exactly where the cameras are in the house. And there's one place where he could do it immediately. So I'll tell you where, where what we're talking about, guys. So in my living room, we, we have a little, Veda has a little, like, princess tent with, like, little pretty lights. Defiled. Stuffed animals in there. <laughs> And one night, right, I like randomly, I put like a little uh, cushion thing in front of the princess tent and I put my laptop there and I'm like, wow, this is so comfortable to like get some work done, right? Because I had the little lights on and and I could just kind of sit with her stuffed animals. It was like cozy. It's kind of warm in there too. So she was like, isn't it cozy in there? I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, all right, well, good night. She goes to sleep and I'm in there. Whole house is dark except for these little fucking princess lights and my laptop. And I'm there and she is asleep and I'm like, I look over, I'm like, I look at the cameras, I'm like, oh, I am, I'm in the blind spot. Uh, I think it's time for a little tug of war. <laughs> <laughs> Bop it. <laughs> so I just pictured, you could just picture this tent with a bunch of stuffed animals inside. And I see this full, like, I imagine the camera is him. You see his stick his head out like this. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the tent shake. <laughs> and then you come out. You're just like. Whoa. I get out. I don't even care anymore. I'm just like. I'm completely bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Like Daffy Duck? <laughs> oh, this man. was so ridiculous, man. <laughs> think people would do this because you know he knows that there's a camera there but he just it's like oh this would be great content it's just no <laughs> i just really have to jack off i right just now. need to i need to live man i need That's to live so my life fucking dog. funny man That's <sighs> hilarious it's part of life bro it's part of fatherhood you know i feel like when you're do you feel like you jack off less now that you're older less um i tell you this uh no uh well I think I probably uh, same amount to be honest. Um, Man is <laughs> just viral. This guy, he could just go and go for days. Well, no. Well, look, I'll, I'll tell you this: when I was living alone in my condo, um, you know, and this was me, me and Chia have been married for like five years. So when I was alone in my condo and I didn't have shit to do, there would be those days where you're bored and you're like, oh, I think I'll jack off again. And then it's like, and you jack off like. Maybe twice is, is reggies and then like, and then like, and sometimes you, you hit that third one and you're like, God, what am I doing? What is even the point of this? My dick hurts. I'm bleeding. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, three, this is too much. Right? I remember when I jacked off, uh, <laughs> I don't know how many times, but it was like past two. It was yeah. like three or something like that. Mm -hmm. like, this is painful. 
like, I don't like this. Yeah, that third one is just kind of like you're doing it just because you're bored. I had a buddy who, I, they're still together now, but mm. his, <laughs> these fools would always fucking fight in front of us, like as friends. Mm. And it's just weird when a couple fights in front of you. Like, yeah. go do this in private. Why right. are you screaming? It's almost <laughs> like they're screaming at each other so they could pick for us to be on whose side. Oh, Lord. And so this girl fucking puts her guy on blast. He goes, you know what I get fucking sick of? He said, you're over here jacking off every day and I'm sucking your dick and then fucking nothing comes out. <laughs> you know how that makes me feel? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> and the whole room just, <gasps> we were just silent like a dog. What the, why would you say that to him out loud? It's valid though. I mean, yeah, she was like, yeah, when you're coming, fucking nothing comes out. It makes me feel like shit. Sheesh, and like, how much is this, like, how much is he nutting on that jack-off? I'm pretty sure he's, I mean, you have to imagine how much somebody is jacking off to the point that when they have sex, yeah. it's like nothing comes out. Yeah. It's like, dog, you must have jacked off like four or five times that day. You want to know what sucks, dog? I don't know if this has ever happened to you. Um, You know, in my casual days, I remember one time very much like looking forward to Knowing I was gonna hook up with this with this girl, right? Mm -hmm. And being like, I'ma save up my jizz for like mm -hmm. a week. So when we like hook up, not only will I be like just strong, like the Thai chili pepper I am, but also the nuts gonna be just amazing, right? Wow. So shoot her back to the wall. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like a fucking Mortal Kombat fatality against the wall, dog. <laughs> what do you get? Street Fighter style, dude. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> um, and then so come times for the hookup. And I'm like, and mind you, I'm like probably I don't go, I wasn't going more than like maybe two or days without two days without like jerking off. Maybe three, Ooh, you know? That thing's gonna go. So I'm I'm built, yeah, exactly. So I'm I finally get in it, and man, maybe like less than a minute of pumps, and I'm like, oh, 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 never mind, yeah, never yeah. mind, oh, we're done, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's gonna go, oh, 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 yeah. oh, okay. And after talking so much shit, right, of like, oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and it's just kind of like, and then you can't even really enjoy your humongous nut, because you're like, ah, fuck. It's too soon. Ah, my bad, uh, ah. So what I... I know exactly. Every young man has gone through this shit, right? Because yeah. you're thinking like, okay, you want to make sure you have enough nut. <laughs> well, my thing was is like I would I would just jack off depending on when we knew we were gonna hook up, right? Let's say like I went out for a show, right? And then you know you're DMing a couple of girls, like you know you're gonna smash or whatever, whatnot, hook up or whatever. I would always jack off like the night before mm -hmm. and then that would be perfect if it was the day of bad move but the night before yeah. is almost like just right that's the thought process right yeah. clear your pipes just enough but then still have a little bit in the chamber mm. for you know yeah. to get you going right <laughs> mm -hmm. your boy i think i think back in the day you know i just got a little overzealous uh and tips anticipated a little too much and just uh ruined everything you know it's hard that I, we <laughs> talked about this like i get crazy whiskey dick like mm. if if i'm gonna hook up with somebody i'm not drinking it's just not gonna happen like yeah. i just it, it just won't work well i don't know maybe it's like the nerves too man i don't like okay, let me tell you this i remember the first time i hooked up with a girl when i was high mm -hmm. probably the worst sex that i she has ever had <laughs> Because I'm having a great time. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. And then she looked at me so upset. <laughs> she was just like, you know what you were doing yesterday? I was like, what? She was like, you just, you couldn't find my mouth because I was so high. Mm. And I was just like all, oh, I was kind of slightly crossfaded too. She was yeah. like, I wanted to kiss you, but you couldn't find my mouth. Oh my God. Because I was so fucking out of it. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. it. Probably one of the most embarrassing <laughs> things ever. And your, your reaction's like mad late. Yeah. So she's like, she's like, <laughs> Pinch my nipple, I'm about to come. And you're like, <laughs> she's like, do it, do it now, I'm about to come. Huh? <laughs> it's like a sloth. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> run it back. But that's what we're talking about. There's certain ones that I just want to run back. It's yeah. like, listen, that's not fair. Like, I just, I just wasn't there. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, nowadays, right? Shout out to Blue Chew, sponsoring No Chaser. If Blue Chew was around back in the day. No problem. When I was single, like, because the thing about it is, yeah, Blue Chew is more like, you know, you got erectile dysfunction, whatever, whatever. But, like, man, as a youngin who was, like, hooking up casually and then there's so much pressure on the first hookup, like, and you want to make a good first impression, right? There's just a lot going through your mind, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of situations where, and I'm sure you're not supposed to consume a, uh, a pill like that on alcohol. But, like, 
it would have been so much easier if like I knew I was about to hook up 20 minutes before I could just pop a pill and be good to go. And I know they had gas station pills and shit like that back then, but I, I didn't know about that life. You know, your boy was just also, out here. Gas station pills? I don't know. A little scary? You know, Bluetooth is a little more reputable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, you feel safer using something like that. One of, like, one of, one of the homies from um, a show I was doing was like, yo, you like you should just, yo, the, the, the gas station pills is where it's at, man. Like, yo, oh. you, 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 it will, like, it might make your heart beat a little fast. <laughs> But yo, but you will. It will help you throw down the quality D. Did you know that fat people are just are hornier because of the fat in their diet? Well, I don't know. Like, so <clears throat> when I was losing weight, yeah, and obviously. Oh yeah, you've mentioned this. Yeah, your calorie yeah, yeah. deficit. But like the doctor was telling me, like, yeah, people who have like higher like fat, they're, they're just hornier. The libido is a lot higher. Mm. So you're going to experience that when you're on a calorie deficit. Oh. And I didn't even fucking know that at all. Mm. I had no, I thought something was fucking wrong with me. Right, it's like right. a calorie deficit. Also, when you lose like fat, you're just not going to be as horny. Mm. I, and he was like, you're getting a little older too. And then mm. when he was mentioning like, you know, like erectile pills or whatever, whatnot. Yeah. I was like, I don't need that shit. I just need a hamburger. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. Had me in and out burger. My dick got hoard, son. Hell yeah, son. Mm. Animal style for real. Oh, you yeah. Know? You know how it is. <laughs> Animal style. Oh, we'll be right back with some fire, <laughs> some fire spoken word. <laughs> Man, have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you ask literally everyone you know for the recommendation? You know, a doctor who actually gets you, listens to you, and makes you feel super comfortable. And finally, after weeks of searching, you find the one, but it's just not, it's just not feeling right, right? So you call their office and they have an appointment available, but then the receptionist tells you this perfect doctor doesn't take your insurance. God, you knew it. Well, wipe your tears, put away the ice cream, and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who was right for you and takes your insurance, okay? That's why you gotta F with ZocDoc. It's a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. My friends, that's what David So always says. So, go to ZocDoc.com slash foods and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash foods. ZocDoc.com slash foods. In and out. <laughs> it's already done. In and out. Animal style. Wild style. <laughs> Special sauce. Special sauce on your poo nanny. Nanny, watch the kids. Watch these kids in your eye. Spray come in your eye. Why? Why? How hurts my pupil. I need a pupil to teach them things like nut in their mouth. Whoa. I'm from the South. Give them these refried beans. Oh, Tex-Mex. 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 Kicking girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, we're a little off today, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Stuttering, stuttering, Stutters. buttering. Rolls. Rolls. I like them big because the titties are large. Large. Wow. Are you in charge? Charles in charge. Titties. Titties. Tit. Tease. Buy some goodybrand.com secret society. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Don't feel pressure out there, young kids, to always perform your best. It's hard when you're young. I was talking to my mom today, and then I was telling her, like, so this is funny. So when I went back home, Old Asian people tend to do old Asian people immigrant shit. <laughs> and for example, they have a bunch of dogs and the dogs, you know, pee outside, but they pee whatever they want. And they, my parents spray it down with water after they pick up everything. But dog urine seeps into concrete and cement. It doesn't go away. Seeps into concrete? Concrete, whatever, anything that's porous. Dang. And dog piss smell is there. And I was telling my mom, I was like, man, you old as fuck. You can't smell that shit. She goes, I'll smell anything. So I got her this chemical spray that yeah. gets rid of the smell. Cause when I'm there, I smell it like crazy. Yeah. They're just getting older. 
And I was just like, I was like, you old as hell. She goes, well, if I'm old, I guess I'm on the way out that I might as well just die right now. I was like, God. okay. How did this conversation go to this shit, dude? Why do all <laughs> old Asian moms go straight to death? I don't fucking know, dude. It's always like that, bro. It's dude. always like, hey, mom, um... You know, I didn't really uh, appreciate what you said. Fine, then never talk to me again until I die. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dog, <laughs> zero to a million, dude. Yeah, dog. Hey, so, you know, when you came over, like, make sure that you put the cup over here. It makes it easier <laughs> to find. Well, you know, when I was younger, I didn't care. I guess I'm old and feeble, so I might as well just kill myself. <laughs> dog, it was one time, bro. Me and my mom got into a huge fight. It was so dumb. Because, like, you know, the baby was still, Veda was still pretty young, and my mom had just done some garden work. She had some shit on her hands from the plants, and then she was about to do something, like, do something. I was like, hey, wash your hands. She was like, I know. You think I wash my hands? You think I'm dirty? I was like, well, whatever, whatever. I never have to touch you again. I was like, can you? Why? Yeah. But you know what I realized, dog? I just realized she fucking incepted me, bro, because I do this shit now. Oh, really? To her, though. Only mm, to her. Because, mm, mm. like, one time, man. <laughs> she was being annoying like that and she was like you know she was like whatever I won't I, I, I never have to come over again whatever and I'm like oh so you're never gonna come over again because of that I forget what petty shit it was I was like you're never gonna come over again because I told you to wash your hands are you serious she's like nope I'm like so Veda is never gonna see her grandma ever again in her entire life because of this moment right here she's like no <laughs> <laughs> you're doubling down yeah dude. and I'm like I'm like, okay, so, okay, mom, so, like, when, when you're, like, and, I, and I'm like, so, so when Veda gets older, she's like, where's Yaya? <laughs> where's my Yaya? You start putting on a diaper? <laughs> you start putting on a diaper? You start putting ponytails in your head? <laughs> to reenact the whole <laughs> thing? <laughs> yaya. Yaya, por qué? Tim, too much. <laughs> Is that my dad? <laughs> yeah. She got it. <laughs> Take it down, man. Take it down, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to do that shit too to her. Like when she would be crazy, I would say like, oh, 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 I remember one time specifically, bro, this is at the restaurant. She was being annoying or maybe maybe she was mad at me for something. And I was like, all right, well, love you. She wouldn't say it back. And I was like, mom, what if I walked out the, the door right now, got hit by a car and died? And you knew that the last thing you did was not tell me that you love that you and, and you <laughs> didn't tell me that you you love me, right? And the ladies in the kitchen were like, Tim, don't say that. I'm like, no, no, she needs to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. Hey, chill, chill. <laughs> hey, okay, okay, okay. You know, my dad will like tell me to relax and shit. And then he but he's so mean to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, relax. Don't talk to that bitch that way. <laughs> Go dad. Bruh, speaking of like, you know, uh moms uh and losing their temper, right? Um, I don't know if I talked about this with you or someone else, but I've never heard Chia yell. Did I talk about this on, on this podcast? No, I don't think so. Even if you did, I don't remember. <clears throat> I've never heard Chia yell up until like Veda's terrible two stage. I can't even imagine her yelling. That's that's what's crazy about it, right? Because like that's kind of scary. You know, me and Chia, even when we get angry at each other, it's very like a muted anger. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, whatever, yeah, cool, not nah, like, mm -hmm. all right, if that's the way it is, it's the way it is. I'll, yeah, we'll talk about it, whatever, right? Um, but there were times when you know Veda likes to push your buttons. She likes to see how much she can get away with, especially with with me, especially with with Chia. So um, she was trying to do something the other day. Veda was just trying to put her to sleep. Um, get her in her little sleep sack, and she's like, um, you know, she will be like, all right, Veda, oh, tell me get in your sacky, mama. She's like, um, what is the, well, I, I like daycare. Let's go daycare. Like, just talking random shit, right? And then I, I just heard, <laughs> I just heard she go, um, I was in the kitchen the other day, washing dishes, and I told her, hey, <laughs> listen to mommy right now. And I was she like, just had it. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, you know that, like, when the teacher fucking yells in class and yeah. your eyes get big, that's what I did. But I was by myself. I was like, ooh, <laughs> Veda's in trouble. <laughs> you look at her, you go, ooh. Yeah, yeah, talk. And then sometimes when I'm there, she'll be right, Veda will be right next to me. Like, she will be, hey, listen to mommy or no blah, 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 right? And Veda will turn around like me. Dad. I'm like, don't look don't at me. me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm over here. I, I didn't get yelled at. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, daddy's trying to get some ass tonight. So I'm, I'm team mommy, all right? That's smart, though, because I feel like sometimes 
you know, people who are dads who have daughters, they don't ever want to be on the daughter's bad side. They're like, oh, it's okay. Mommy's being, it's like, no, no, no. It's teamwork shit. Yeah, man. You know, and I'm, I'm not trying to do that, especially since I know I'm already a, a pushover, yeah. right? Espe- like, like, like what you said in Korean, a grumble lady. Um, <laughs> Tal babo. Yeah, that. <laughs> Tal babo. Yeah, daughter idiot. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, uh, I just, I know that she's already going to be looking at me like, oh, she, she, I can get away with more. I can get away with more with dad, right? Mm-hmm. So I, but I, so I definitely don't want to be on the opposite team. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I want to, even though I might be the the. Um, the I'm not the general, but I'm like the the lieutenant in this yeah. situation. I don't know what's the higher rank, but yeah, yeah, the, the second in command, right? I'm definitely not trying to have her think she could run to me mm-hmm. for like backup, it's you like, know? That ain't no bitch. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Like, get exactly. the fuck out of here. It's tough, man. You know, it's, it's, I mean, she's definitely. It, it's weird because like I've you know I, I watch I see Veda intermittently, right? Mm-hmm. And then you see like a new level up in terms of how she speaks <laughs> and how she's thinking. Mm-hmm. And now she has kind of gained like she's starting to learn her autonomy right now, right? Like, oh, if I say this, I can manipulate this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can manipulate that. And it's just like, oh, this that's why they call it the terrible twos because they have options now in their mind. They think they do, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, bro. And that's the thing. Oh, dude, today, and I didn't even talk to Chi about this yet because it was so quick that it happened. Veda lied for the first time <gasps> today. And we've never even, like, I didn't even know that this was something in her mind that was, like, a possibility. You feel me? Because I was supposed to, like, we we're trying to brush her teeth so she could leave with Chia in the morning to go shopping. And, uh, but she was like, Daddy, let's go play for a little bit before I brush my teeth. I'm like, cool. So we're in the back playing with the dinosaurs. And I'm like, brush your teeth, mama? She's like, just want to play for a little bit. I'm like, okay, cool. Two more minutes, right? So Chia walks over. Veda, do we brush our teeth? Veda looks at me. She looks at mommy. She goes, yes. Oh. And mommy's like, did you brush your teeth? And I said, I was like, no. And she's like, yes. And oh. I'm like, oh. And Chia goes, I'm going to smell your breath. Can I smell your breath? See if you brush your teeth? She's like, yeah. She gets up. Chia's smelling her mouth. She's like, mm, it doesn't smell like toothpaste, mommy. You sure you brush your teeth? She's like, yes. And I'm like, Veda. And then she was like, did you brush your teeth or did you lie? She's like, I lied. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, (laughs) this is a thing now, which is kind of like, you know, it low-key blew my mind, but we haven't had a chance to really discuss it yet. You know what's interesting? Like, when I was a kid, I used to try to lie so much because Mm. my dad wouldn't let me do anything. So (laughs) I would, like, lie to get my way. Yeah. You know, and eventually, my dad, remember my dad told me one time he sat me down as a little kid. He goes, when you lie, things become worse. So if you just tell me the truth, your punishment will be less. Mm. And guess what? He lied because the punishment was the same. (laughs) It was the exact same, probably worse. And so like when I was a kid, I got so – I even now to this day, like Mary has to remind me like you don't have to be too overtly truthful about everything. And it's because I used to get my fucking ass beat. Oh, for lying about anything? It wouldn't – it would be white lies. I would get my ass just obliterated, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my dad grew up – Yeah, he would would (laughs) fuck me, you know? He would take me to the back, tell me to take my pants off, and he would blast that ass. <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, don't put this into a clip. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so, but then we're like, "Fuck me up." And he would just fuck me. Now. He would just fuck me up. And so, because my dad hated liars, because he grew up around a lot of people who would lie a lot. And my grandpa. Daddy chill she makes me laugh. Oh, no. Well, well, <laughs> Daddy chill. Daddy. What the hell is even that? What the, <laughs> no, what the hell even is that? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so stupid. You know what the funny thing is? It's like his that dad said exactly what everybody was thinking. Uh, like what he said, I was like, in my mind, I was like, what the hell is that? You want me to, I'm going to ruin this a little bit for you. Yeah. That's, that's a scripted thing. Really? Yeah. It's, um, it's a guy that did like scripted vlogs. So it's that, it's not a real moment. That's so good though. I know. Like I the know. acting is amazing then. Yeah, yeah. The dad was acting? Yeah. Everybody was wow, acting. Wow. That dad's an amazing actor. Though. Isn't that great? <laughs> what um, the hell is it's he? from a vlog channel called, uh, McJuggernauts. And, uh, that's, I found out cause I saw the clip first and then I was like, what is this? And then I kind of looked into it. It was so, first of all, can we give that guy an Oscar then? Both of them. That's 
uh, fucking amazing. Boy, I don't want you to skip on your story. Um, uh, what the hell was I talking about? <laughs> Daddy child. Um, oh, your dad just not letting you get away with yeah, lies. Yeah, he would never let me get with lies. And so, like, when I was a kid, I used to get my ass beat all the time. Mm-hmm. Where eventually, like, it was just, it just ended up you just telling him everything. Yeah. Most people, like, I was talking to my therapist about this. They're like, wow, usually it's the other way around where your dad would be so strict with it. You just end up being a better liar. Mm. And I was like, for me, now it just like makes me sweat. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> just the concept of lying. Yeah, just like lying too much. Like, you know what I mean? And you know, as a comic, when you start doing these sets, you're, you're fabricating things a little bit, kind of. Yeah, making, you're embellishing a bit. Yeah, and that was. A, Even that would make you nervous? It, it wouldn't make me nervous, but then like I had to learn like, oh, you're not lying here per se. You're just describing things funnier. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? And it just kind of made you feel like a phony a little bit. After a while, but I was just like, oh, okay, we're just embellishing things, you know, but things did happen. It did happen. Mm-hmm. You know, but now you just, you have to learn how to be a better storyteller. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm I think, you know, everybody that's a good storyteller, um, you gotta, you just gotta hype it up a bit. Add some little juicy, mm-hmm. juicy juice to it. You know what I'm saying? But what do you, how, so how do you deal with this? Like, do you just, what do you say to her? Like, what the? F- oh, man. I don't know. Um, it was so it, I was so wasn't ready for it today. Yeah. That I don't, I didn't know. And it was like so cute and innocent, right? I was like, all I could squeak out was a, like, don't lie, baby. <laughs> yeah. And then we moved on. You don't know how to process it. Yeah. Cause I mean, it wasn't even about nothing serious, you know? So I wasn't trying to be like, like, I don't know, actually chastise her for this shit. You know, I was just kind of like, baby, lying is bad, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I, at least, Right now, she understands the concept of, like, being a good girl and being a bad girl. Oh, bruh. The other day. <laughs> she Look, she's getting sassy, dog. Oof. Because she she understands, like, bad girl. Hey, don't be a bad girl. Be a good girl, right? And when we yelled at her, I, I told this story either to you or to Rick. I don't know anymore. It's all a blur, all yeah. right? I don't fucking know, dog. But, like, I was, you know, I was, oh, oh that's right. I told it on the Tiffany Thiessen episode mm. where... I was, I was like, Beta, you're a bad girl. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? She's like, I want to be a good girl, right? Oh, yeah. And then so the other day, though, <clears throat> um, Chia was like, are you a bad girl? No, was, are, are, are you going to be a good girl? She's like, no. And she's like, what? Are, are you going to be a good girl? She's like, no, I want to be a bad girl. And then she was like, like snatched her up, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Beta, listen to me, right? And she's just... She's really trying to push those buttons, man. And it's crazy because she's getting so smart. Yeah. And um, she's understanding a lot of shit. And she's like speaking in whole ass sentences. And it's like, not only that, it's like she's mentally learning how to play me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, man. That's hard, man. Like my my biggest thing that I know that I'm going to have to learn is like when the kid lies is not to blow my fucking top off. <laughs> Right, because it's been ingrained in me to like this to hate it so much. Mm. So like when I see that, if it was my kid, I gotta be like, "Hey, this kid's learning. You gotta bring it down here." Because in my first, I'm like, "Did you just fucking lie? Let me get your fucking ass over here. I will fucking murder you if you fucking lie to me." You know what I mean? But obviously, that doesn't help. Do you remember <clears throat> one of your first lies you told your parents? Because I remember mine. Uh, I don't remember my first lie. Yeah. Because I used to do it so much when I was younger. Oh, you but naughty I, boy. But I do remember this one time where my dad was going to beat the shit out of me and he did it because he was just laughing at me because mm. I was so dumb. Because <laughs> so he basically was said he's gonna whoop my ass because I did something terrible. I forgot what it was. And so I stuffed this book down my pants. <laughs> right. And I was like, I'm ready for my butt whooping. Yeah. Right. And my dad sees this square ass. Hilarious. <laughs> and then he just cries laughing and I'm sitting here just waiting for like the doom because I'm waiting to get beat and yeah. my dad's like get the hell out of here like, you're so dumb like I can't believe you're this stupid and he go tells my mom and my mom starts laughing at me too and I start crying because I'm embarrassed Hilarious. <laughs> I was like just beat me just beat me <laughs> like I, I can't deal with the emotional pain <laughs> they're just like <laughs> <laughs> they were crying laughing <sighs> that's great maybe yeah I think maybe since I'm not really trying to be physical with Veda like uh, like like physically like punish her maybe I just need to really attack her self esteem I think that's 10 <laughs> times worse <laughs> I think the whooping might be better dude man my, one of my first lies I remember cause I used to um, you know I used to get Happy Meals from McDonald's right and one day I really just wanted the toy all I wanted was the fucking toy and um, so my parents got me a Happy Meal and I got my toy I didn't want the burger you know I just wanted the fries so I ate my fries 
And but also, you know, Asian parents or immigrant parents, you don't want to waste food, right? And like huge emphasis on don't waste the fucking food. Mm-hmm. So I knew I didn't want my cheeseburger. So um I was like, I told my parents, I was probably like four. I was like, I have to poop. I took my cheeseburger. I was like, I'm gonna eat it in there. Took my cheeseburger into the bathroom, flushed it down the toilet. And I went through the whole thing too. Now that I think back on it, I sat on the toilet and everything and put the cheeseburger in the toilet. I didn't need to do all that, but I did. Mm-hmm. Flush it down the toilet, came out the bathroom like this. Mmm. Oh, just hamming it up, yeah. dude. But like, there's no way they're gonna know. Okay, Nobody's gonna know. As a kid, I would have ate that whole thing so fast. Well, you I know. wouldn't I wouldn't have to lie. They're like, did you eat that cheeseburger? <laughs> they just see this crumb on my face. It's like, did you chew? Yes. <laughs> You did not chew. I should have put a crumb on my face or something. Because like, as soon as I came out the bathroom, my dad was like, you just flushed it down the toilet? And I was like, yes! <laughs> I've seen this before. I was a little kid just practicing. Okay, you're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's that too much. That's too much. Relax, relax, relax. I take one pickle, place it on my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> like, relax, relax, relax. Okay, this is what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, too much, too much, too much. Too much. <laughs> um, David So. After this break, I have a special treat for you. Hey, what's up, y'all? You know, every year, Goody Brand puts out ridiculous, funny t-shirts for Halloween. And this year, I was like, yo, dead ass. What if skeletons got BBLs, okay? So I started sketching around, and Rick and Benji were like, yo, let's just use your sketch for the shirt. So I, you know, I made it nice and sexy, and here we go. You got skeletons with BBLs. And it says, dead ass, welcome to BB hell, get it? And guess what? Oh, so lit, all right? For every purchase of this shirt, you get an entry to win my actual sketches signed and everything, all right? So you have until, they're literally available right now, goodybrand.com. You have until October 20th to be eligible for the contest. Check it out. Get you a shirt. We also have these hilarious Monster Smash t-shirts that Rick came up with. Amazing. Goodybrand.com. Check it out. Hilarious t-shirts for the holiday, uh, Halloween season. You bitch! So I have a treat for you. Do it. I was looking for some alcohol for us for this first episode, even though, have you eaten breakfast? Yes, I had a breakfast burrito. Okay, cool. I had a few bites of a Hot Pocket. Um, it was left on the floor by Veda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all I get. Yeah. All I deserve. Um, but I was in the little BevMo, and I found something interesting. Check this out. Hard Jaritos. Híjole de la chingada. Ah, Dude, they have hard jaritos now? Yeah. Jesus, Maria, y Gil Jose. Uh, it's, uh, so if you don't know about jaritos, I mean, you know, this is like just that is super bomb Mexican soda. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, many flavors. This right here is pineapple. Piña. And they got the hard jaritos. And uh, it's called Cantaritos. 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 Little bit of alcohol in your jaritos. Hey, that's actually good, dude. <laughs> Let's change the, uh, the the song for this now. Can, okay, okay, here we go. Cantaritos. Cantaritos. <laughs> alcohol in your jaritos. Brought to you by the dudes. Behind the foods. Comer. I just realized that that was to the tune of Suavemente. <laughs> Cantaritos. Damn. Hey, this is going to be a problem. Let's go. Cheers. Ooh, it has the piña smell I love. Mm. Well, that's great. Uh-oh. That's great. It just tastes like melted pineapple candy with a little alcohol. Yum. And I don't understand with these alcohol people when they go, oh. This is too sweet. It's supposed to be sweet, idiot. Especially if you drink in some this situation. Exactly. We're not talking about wine. Yeah. We're talking about a fucking jaritos with some alcohol in it. I don't like a, a sweet cocktail either. Because mm. <coughs> now in my life, they like give me headaches the next day. Yeah, the sugar Pero, thing. Oof. This here right here, though? Pop it. There's not a lot of alcohol in this. Only you 5%. Know? Yeah, we're good. You know what I would love? Oh, let, I, I hope they do the tamarindo flavor of jaritos because mm. that's my shit. Tamarindo is the shit, dude. Mm-hmm. You know what? I got to say this. Because of the onset of the internet, a lot of white people have been put onto with some of these flavors they just never grew up with. <laughs> yeah. And one of, some of the videos that I look for that cracks me the fuck up <laughs> is like when they try like an ethnic food. Yeah. And they go, wow, this is delicious. I'm like, you didn't like it. I could tell. 
And it's okay. Maybe they did, dude. No, no, no. Maybe their minds were blown, dude. How about that, dude? <laughs> no, because I watch all their videos. And I know, it's like when we watch Guy Fieri. Yeah. We know what he likes and dislikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like Asian food that even a lot of Asian people don't like. Mm. And they're like, wow, this is, a, it's like, you don't have to lie, bro. <laughs> even I don't like it. They don't want to be disrespectful, David. They could so. just be like, eat it and be like, it's not for me, but it is what it is. There's some weird Asian food shit that even like, for example, I saw this video of this guy eat this thing. It's a it's a skate fish, right? It's actually a type of shark. And if you guys don't know, sharks actually pee out of their skin. Mm -hmm. And so when you kill a shark and you process it, you have to do it pretty quickly. He's talking about the fermented shark meat? Yeah, oh. Yes. It's so bad. And like, like Korean people, like I would say 80% of Korean people hate it. Yeah. And so this dude was eating it and he goes like, Oh, I can see why people... No, you can It literally smells like piss. Dog, it we did this episode of Basics of Bougie. Oh, no. And immediately, you know, before we were filming, I'm like, hey, something doesn't smell right in the room, bro. Like, what are y'all about to give us to eat? And, you know, I eat, like, damn near everything. But this shit right here, dog, I, like... I brought it up to my nose. I'm like, yo, no. this smells rotten. What is this? And then when I realized, I'm like, oh, this is that fermented shark meat. Ugh. Was it, it the, 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 the European one, the Greenland shark? Yes. Bro, the, that yes. thing smells so bad. It's cra It smells like it's not supposed to smell like that. It just smells like rotten meat. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, it's funky like cheese. I was like, no, 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 no. No, it's it, not. It smells like a cadaver. Yes. <laughs> Dog, like, I I like funky cheese. I like um, a lot of fermented shit. Kimchi has been like, I've been on a kimchi yeah. wave the past year. Mm -hmm. um, I like a lot of funky smelling things. Mm. That shit, oh, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, I don't like durian. Oh, I'll tell you this. Speaking of uh, white people really trying to be respectful of some shit, <laughs> I used to watch this show on E! called Wild... Wild On or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it was hosted by this beautiful model named Brooke Burke. And there was also uh, a white guy with glasses who would try the different foods and shit sometimes. And he was trying some durian. And he, he was trying to be so nice, right? He was like, all right, well, we're in Thailand and um, this is supposed to be a delicacy out here. It's a, it's a fruit. Um, you know, it's, it's supposed to be amazing, blah, blah, blah. He takes a bite immediately. He's trying, but he's like, oh! Oh my god. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, but it's so bad. <laughs> he, couldn't, you know? he couldn't even hide it. Well, that's the funny thing. It's like, you do understand, like, durian smells so bad that they ban it in subways, trains, cars, hotels, yeah. like certain buildings you can't have it around it. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> Costco right now is selling mochi durian things. Mm. And I was like, oh, it might be. I For some reason, I keep trying to like durian. Okay. Because it is sweet, mm -hmm. right? But right when you open it up, it smells like a bag of fart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I bit into it. I went, God damn it. I bought the whole bag. Uh, and I just gave it to my parents. And my parents were like, mm, I don't like this either. I'll tell you this, though. What's weird, bro? I, I don't like durian. I've never liked durian. I grew up with it in my house. My mom would have it like in these little kind of doughy rolls of it. She would have a whole durian on the table. She would chop oh, that shit. Oh, you like that, dude? She loves it. It's like it's like fucking candy to her. Okay, I mean, it's it, like let's be honest. It's super sweet, but it has a garlicky fart smell. To it, it has a garlicky look. My boy PD Flo, he was so curious to try it, so my mom cut him some. He put it in his mouth, and he was like, "Why does it taste like meat?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his first his first reaction was, "Well, it's meat. Yeah. It tastes like meat, but." But sweet, he yeah. didn't get it. And it's it's weird, right? And um, I've never, and this is the truest set, the, the truest form of um acquired taste. Because yes. the people that like it, that oh. have the taste for it, they love it, right? But I say all this to, I say all that to say this. Um, I don't like the fruit at all. But during ice cream. In a shake, right? Shakes or, or yeah. ice creams or popsicles, I actually fuck with it. Yeah, it's not as terrible. Ah man. It's like, um, have you ever had Taiwanese stinky tofu? Um, I don't think I have. So stinky tofu literally smells like if you just went up to a dude, spread his ass cheeks, <laughs> and went. So that. amazing. 
in Japan. So, <laughs> so, number one, this is smell like a spirit of dude's asshole. <laughs> Where's the shit? But number one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a recipe. <laughs> wow. This is the sweatiest asshole I ever smelled in my life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my God, I'm coming. <laughs> He's Arnold Schwarzenegger now. <laughs> I'm coming. Get out of here. <laughs> Show me your leadership capabilities. Uh, but uh, what were we talking about? Durian? Oh, stinky tofu. Oh, stinky tofu. It smells like. It smells like actual shit. Really? It's, it's, it's the smell is worse than durian. I, I, when you, when I was in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and by the way, even stinky tofu, like half the people in Taiwan don't like it either. You said worse than durian? It just smells like actual shit. Like actual shit. Like literal shit. Like literal shit. I need, I need to get a taste. Bart loves it. Hmm. Bart loves it. It smells. So I went to the oldest place that has still makes um stinky tofu mm -hmm. and they do like a, it's, i think it's called like a cent you, somebody could correct me on this it's like a hundred year stinky tofu was called okay but it's so rotten that it's green what and then i ate that and they put like the sweet soy glaze on it okay and i tried it and i just couldn't do it and honestly the fried version which is supposed to be more mild was worse because you have to chew it you can't just like swallow it because the the one that's aged so long it's a cr it's a creamy yeah so you just you know whatever Ugh. But when I bit into the fried one, I just every time you bite, it's like a fart going in your mouth. This is this is grossing me out, dog. You, I, I didn't know you never tried it. Well, you know what? When I you, wouldn't even bring it in here because it would smell like shit. When I've heard stinky tofu in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, I've, I feel like I've had that. Well, like, but maybe I was just thinking like a tofu kimchi soup or something. Um, because the what you're describing, I've definitely never had. Yeah, Korean people have this dish too that's very fucking. It's actually called like translate like dead man soup. <laughs> it's it's chongguk Mm. And it's highly, highly fermented soybean paste. It's okay. like so fermented that it stinks like 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 sweaty feet. Yum. And it's actually one of my favorite dishes. Yeah, yeah. It tastes really good. Yeah, I fuck with soybean paste. I fuck with like uh, that type of shit, that fermented shit too. Um, Smell is terrible though. You know, and you kind of just, you kind of get used. Oh, dude, so funny, dog. <laughs> so Chia always says that my fucking breath stinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, your boy, I brush my teeth, I, I scrape my tongue, I floss, all that shit. But sometimes, for whatever reason, my breath just be stinking, right? Um, like in the morning, she'd be like, ah, did you brush your teeth? I'm like, yes. Oh, my morning breath is the worst. So, <laughs> so Shang, Shang, Shang Wang, the comedian. Shang, yes. Yeah, he has this bit where um, he was talking about how, like, you know, his little nephew or whatever smelt his breath and was like, Uncle Shang, your breath smells like birds. <laughs> Because like he's like, my breath is so bad that this little girl had to come up with a metaphor to describe it, right? And so one morning, I was with Veda, or maybe it was night, I forget. But Veda's like, and when, when Veda smells something funny, she goes, my nose smells, my nose smells. And then so I was talking to her, and she goes, daddy, my nose smells. And I'm like, what? and I'm like already kind of giggling inside. I'm like, oh God, my breath probably stinks, right? I'm like, what's it smell like, baby? And Chia looks at me, she's like, Birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, my poor baby. She has no idea. <laughs> She's all tearing up. <laughs> baby, give daddy a kiss. <laughs> Look, baby girl, your dad is turning into an old Asian man, and we all have disgusting breath. <laughs> oh, oh, we're getting old Asian man breath. This. It's the worst, Doc. It's, we're getting it. That means, like, you know what's so funny? I, I remember when Mariel and I used to live in separate places, right? Yeah. I would go visit her. Her room smells amazing. Even right after she wakes up. Mm. My room after I wake up, because I've been <laughs> exhaling all night, smells like trash. And I would hate it. Yeah. So right when I wake up, I open up all the windows. I'm spraying everything. I'm like, is this smell coming from me? Yeah. What, why do guys stink so much? I don't get it. Like, I really do. I do so much to my mouth. Yeah. And I... Uh, and Chia will still be like, babe, your breath. I'm like, fuck, man. I don't know. And like my dad's breath stays stinking too, man. Dude, her laundry smells good. And my laundry. My dirty laundry. Yeah, her dirty laundry <laughs> smells good. My <laughs> laundry is horrendous. <laughs> Sometimes like when she does the laundry, I feel so bad for her. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight, you know? I mean, it makes sense, man. It would be weird if your, your laundry didn't stink. Yeah, her smells great. Sometimes I just get a dirty underwear. I go. <laughs> yeah, no, I do that too with Mariel's underwear. All yeah. right. <laughs> Well, guys, that wraps up this episode of Dudes Behind the Booth. Hey, real quick, your wedding's coming up. Are you excited? Not really. <laughs> it's a, it's a, going to be a very chill wedding. Nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, 
It's gonna be it's gonna be good enough for us. I, I feel like it's for me, it's to get like obviously I couldn't invite a majority of the people, right? Because yeah. it's a 70-person wedding. Yeah, yeah. Then they yeah. got my friends are really understanding. Mm. Cause I was like, Yeah, like I'm having a wedding in a couple of days. Aren't you married for like the past two years? Like, <laughs> yeah, but it's for the family. Yeah. And they're like, no invite. And I'm like, 70 people. They go, okay, we get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, how much of your family is gonna be there? Cause I'm I'm like writing my officiant shit right now. I'm trying to make sure it's like appropriate. It's, my family doesn't care, okay. but the Mariel's family is super hardcore Christian. Okay. Yeah, but you know, throw out a few jokes, but maybe not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pussy, yeah. pussy, no, pussy, no, no. pussy. Oh, trust, this shit's cute. I got some cute shit. Nice. I wrote majority of it last night. I'm like, oh, this shit's cute. I trust you, dude. Come on now. You're <laughs> smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I might be inappropriate on dudes behind the foods, but let me tell you, parents love me. A hundred percent. That's what Mariel says too. Like she was surprised like how much parents like me. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, cause I'm not dumb. Yeah. All right. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to come in. What's up? Bitch. Yeah. Like, Look, no. I even like when I used to meet um, girls' parents that I was like dating or whatever, always fucking pull my pants up. You know, I give a good stern handshake, eye contact. I fake laugh at all the dad's jokes. Dude, a girl that I used to date, not we don't talk anymore, mm. but even after like a couple of years, she goes, do my parents still ask about you? Mm. Right? It's just because they were so cool. And then I'm also, I grew up in like a Christian household and everything else. So it's easy to be respectful for sure. And I think like whoever, whatever guys that she brought in before, they were so socially awkward. Yeah. They wouldn't talk to the parents, but I would come in, eye contact, shake their hand, ask how they're doing. Mm -hmm. At the dinner table, I'm talking to them. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Shit like that, little shit like that. that I feel like a lot of people, I don't know if they just didn't, like they just aren't aware or what, but like the littlest shit where if you just go out of your way for two seconds to say, Hi to the parents mm -hmm. instead of just fucking like, you know, I don't know, honking the horn. Yeah. Like, come up, say what's up. Like, it's it's really appreciated. Even you know? Meryl's parents, like, I want to talk to them more, but they always invite us during the time that we're so tired and I'm mm. just like exhausted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then sometimes I'm not talking much. Like, oh, he's not in a good mood. It's like, no, you guys came like at the worst time. Mm -hmm. Like, don't just drop in. It's like, I just fucking ran like five miles and mm. I just got done editing shit. And then they're like, we're here for dinner. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking exhausted. They pop up spontaneously? Sometimes, yeah. Oh. Oh Lord! Yeah, oh, no. and I'm not ready. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm not ready because also because they only speak Korean, um, so I gotta like mentally switch myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know when you first start, like even when so we were doing a food thing, he was speaking Thai in the beginning to this lady. It was a little like he would tell us a little shaky, and then as you kept talking, it got better and better and better and better. Yeah. And, better. and then the conversation was full on because that switch. You talking about when I got super drunk that night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, and you, I remember you were like kind of searching and after a while it just went smooth after yeah. like, like a minute, then it started going smooth. Yeah, you really do have to like make that switch, you mm -hmm. know, because you're, you're kind of, uh, uh, like your, your just brain and tongue has to like move, switch over to the other side before you, because it's a little like, oh, what a, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And your accent has to change and a bunch of shit, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. Haritos. <laughs> Haritos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. Well, shit, man. It's another motherfucking episode of Dudes Behind the Foods. We just a couple grown and sexy Asian men talking shit about shit, you know? <laughs> if this was your first episode, um, that's what it is. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Bye. Yo, it's the dudes.